we don't ever see the solid surface. Right. All we see are the cloud decks. Mm -hmm. We don't know what gives them the color. We have uh, some suspicions, and, and maybe some of our data will reveal that. Earth is still special. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. Hell yeah! We're flying now! And this is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Copy. Ladies and gentlemen, Internet Astronomy Journalism is a flutter with a flurry of giant, massive, amazing auroras lighting up planet Jupiter. And what is causing this Jupiter disco freak out? You might ask, solar storms coming from our sun. Now wait, you might be saying, how is that possible? In every single science article I ever read, it says solar activity is very, 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 very low. We're not even sure the sun is still on. Whereas for three years, I've been saying, WTF are you talking about? If you count all the activity on the sun as activity, or even just the solar plasma ejecta totals, the sun's been freaking out. Dude, like a phoenix egg. Get ready to hatch. So, put another feather in my cat. I think this one is Jovian. This story touches on two major, solid Thor New Science points. A, the sun has been freaking out, y'all. The solar activity is not low, not low by any stretch of the imagination. Also, I have my own Thor News definition of what is and what is not a planet. If you have auroras, you are a planet. If you do not have auroras, you are not a planet. You gotta have a crown to get the P. All right. Over here at the Science Alert, because it done everybody gonna be alerted. Massive solar storms are triggering Jupiter's amazing northern lights. Now I do wonder if the sun can kapow trigger amazing auroras on Jupiter. I wonder if it can affect Jupiter's weather. And if it can't affect Jupiter's weather, you would think it could affect ours. All right, I'm gonna read the article now. Step off my soapbox and put on my dancing shoes because this is party dance time. The lights cover an area bigger than the surface of Earth. Wow, well, thanks, Josh Harala, 23rd of March, 2016. Though the northern lights on Earth are undoubtedly beautiful, they are nothing compared to the amped up X-ray version found on Jupiter. I don't know why. That sentence may be grammatically correct, but I think I disliked everything about the way you put it together. That being said, let us move on to the hard science. And now, astronomers in the United Kingdom have finally figured out what causes them. Crazy solar storms. Wait, what? Hold on a second. What are you telling me? Are you telling me these, these guys don't watch the warnings? Because if they did, they would have known back on like the double peaked minimal solar maximum that was never ending and really weird episode seven yeah dude the sun is causing auroras everywhere in our solar system duh man you know and youtube's free bro you don't have to watch the commercials you know it's weird it's like for some reason science no longer wants to talk about how the sun has major effects over not only earth but all the planets in the solar system and if the sun were changing then the climates on the planets would probably also change. And face it, change is the only constant in the universe, or one of them. I don't know, I haven't been all over the universe yet. I'm trying though, trying real hard. Are you serious though? Like I wanna quit this story right now. Because what else? Like shit, really? <laughs> like, how could you be a professional scientist and not know that the sun causes auroras? I was just pointing out to my beautiful, lovely, talented, and smart girlfriend, Sage, the other day, hey, if you check out NASA's head HI1 camera, you can see the sun lighting up Jupiter with a heavy spotlight of plasma. Apparently, it's lighting up Jupiter like a candle. So that is cool. Maybe those UK scientists should watch Thor News a little more because we need better science faster, bitches. Oh, I'm sorry to call you a bitch. <laughs> First, for the uninitiated, Wait a second. This is about Jupiter, not Saturn. We don't need no initiation. A ritual? Bitch. I'm sorry, I call you a bitch. Let's talk about what creates the Aurora Borealis. 
your mom. Earth's northern lights, basically. Aurora A on any planet are caused when charged particles from the sun interact with planetary magnetic fields. Or different colors are produced by different ions. On Earth, this means Aurora A are best seen from the northern hemisphere in areas like Siberia, Iceland, Alaska, and Canada. Top of the planet, man. If you're near the top of the planet, you can see them. While we look up in wonder at the spectacle in the night sky, science pisses down on us with the exact information of what causes these things. Though this science is not clever enough to fly a satellite out into the Lagrange 2 point, point a camera back at Earth, and let us see the totality of our own auroral shapes and colors, as God is painting pictures on the top and bottom of our planet all the time. It's like governments and science doesn't want people to see the messages from God for some reason, or aliens, or the universe, whatever, or magnetic, super happy, horny protons, you know, whatever you want to think. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a satellite way out there that could watch our planet, watch a 24-7 satellite, 4K? I mean, that money seems way better spent than, like, invading Iraq. Why do we do that again? Okay, I don't want to get off subject. This ain't about Mars, it's about Jupiter. While we look up and wonder at the spectacle in the night sky, there's an insane version. There's an ins- What? There's an insane version of the same thing happening on Jupiter. In fact, Jupiter's X-ray aurora covers an area bigger than the surface of Earth. You already said that, dude. Why would you repeat that? We've known about Jupiter's version of the Northern Lights for a long time now. But researchers from the University College London report the first to witness how it changes when a solar storm moves in. What? What? But researchers from University College London report being the first to witness how it changes when a solar storm moves in. All right. I'm a little confused, so I'll just read on. When giant storms erupt, the winds become much stronger and compress Jupiter's magnetosphere, shifting its boundaries with the solar wind two million kilometers through space. The study found that this interaction at the boundary triggers the high-energy X-rays in Jupiter's northern lights. Wait, so what are you saying? That when the solar wind squishes Jupiter's magnetosphere, this causes them to light up? Fascinating. The sun shooting plasma into Jupiter, dude. I don't know if you're saying the same thing I am, but that's what's happening. So it's like our auroras have been freaking out. We don't hear anybody talking about that. I made several videos talking about, hey, dudes, even though they say solar activity is way, 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 way low, it is not. It is way, 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 way high. You know what I'm saying? And I can prove it because our auroras have been freaking out. Great. When I said uh, science journalists went into a tizzy over the story together collectively like they had a hive mind, I meant it. Look at this. Universe Today. Solar storms ignite aurora on Jupiter 15 hours ago. Science Daily, solar storm trigger Jupiter's northern lights. Popular Science, 19 hours ago, solar storms cause huge auroras on Jupiter. Jupiter dazzles with northern lights after solar storms. RT, solarsystem.nasa.gov. Solar storms ignite X-ray northern lights on Jupiter. It's crazy. It's one hot potato story, but it feels unfair. It feels like I am bogarting the science. And it's such a giant story it's almost as big as jupiter jupiter's giant did you know that it's true but i'm proud of nasa for admitting that the sun affects planets real proud of you bro you're making major steps we're all growing and evolving together in a creative way wait this photo's from 2011 so they're releasing this information now five years later pretty good for you nasa pretty dang good maybe someday we'll get to take the training wheels off take this puppy for a spin see what she can do go all balls to the wall you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to go grab Sage and see how she feels on this subject. Because there ain't nothing Jupiter loved more than the company of a good woman. Peace out. Okay, see you soon. Yeah, part two comes soon. Man, my science is so awesome. Like, seriously. You knew that. Unless you didn't. You have to believe it. Because it works, even if you don't. Wait, what? Okay, peace out. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find. Thank Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time.